I never thought I'd see this happening, but it finally did. Native Instruments just made it possible to use any keyboard with their complete control software for free, and it changes everything. Today, I'll show you how to set up your keyboard with complete control and make your studio workflow faster and more creative. I'll even include some tricks, hacks, and ways to get some free plugins. Yes, free new plugins for Akai owners. If you use Native Instruments plugins like Contact, Massive, or Reactor, you've probably already heard of Complete Control. But what exactly is it and why should you care, especially if you don't have a Native Instruments keyboard? Complete Control is a software interface that makes using virtual instruments and effects easier. It works as a standalone app or as a plugin inside your DAW. But the real magic happens when you connect a MIDI keyboard because Complete Control automatically maps your knobs and controls to whatever instrument you have loaded. That's what's been so special about Native Instruments keyboards before. They just let you do so much with their software. Well, now you have all that control with other keyboards too. Well, almost all, I'll explain. Basically, as soon as you load a preset in complete control, your knobs, encoders, and buttons are ready to tweak the most important settings. And you can navigate plugins and presets easily. This means less menu diving, no complicated MIDI assignments, and more time actually making music. Tweaking filters, effects, or switching through sounds everything happens more efficiently, right from your keyboard. And this lets you focus on creativity. All right, now let's get your MIDI keyboard set up. The good news, if your keyboard is on the official supported list, this process is pretty quick. Here's how to set it up. First, open Complete Control. You can do this as a standalone application or inside your DAW as a plugin. Next, open the main menu in the Complete Control header and go to the Controller submenu. Click on Controller Manager. Now, important note, if you have a Native Instruments control keyboard already connected, you won't be able to access the controller manager. That's because Native Instruments keyboards have deeper integration, so the software disables this menu to avoid conflicts. Now, inside Control Manager, you'll see a list of supported MIDI controllers. Find your keyboard in the list. If it's supported, it'll show up here. Once you find your controller in the list, double-click it to load the configuration. Once everything is loaded, Complete Control will show the name of your keyboard in the header indicating your controller's brand. That means it's ready to go. On the Akai MPK Mini Mark III, you'll need to make sure the CC button is active as well. Make sure you check the instructions on the page linked below if you're having some issues. That's it. Your keyboard is now set up to control complete control. And depending on your keyboard model, you'll have access to hands-on control of plugin parameters, preset selection, and more. So check it out. Now I've loaded an instrument in complete control and I can change presets. <laughs> You can also use all eight knobs. They're mapped to the parameters you'll see on the screen. Now, if there are multiple pages of parameters, you can cycle through the pages. Now, make sure you click the knob button at the top here first in complete control. Now you can cycle through the different pages of controls. You can also cycle through the active plugins with the pads here. You'll need to load another plugin first, of course. And then you can adjust the knobs for each. Okay, I've got some game-changing tricks I'll show you later in the video to make the most out of this new feature. But first, what kind of controls are you going to get with your keyboard? Well, that depends on the keyboard you have. Let's explore that next. By the way, if you have a home studio, you might not be getting the best sound or workflow from your space. I put together a free guide with simple but powerful tips to optimize your studio for better sound and creativity. It's totally free and you can get it using the link in the description. All right, now that we've got complete control set up, let's talk about which keyboards actually work with it and what kind of control you get. Native Instruments officially 
supports third-party controllers from Akai, M-Audio, Novation, Korg, and Nectar. But not all keyboards give you the same level of integration. Now, there's a brand glaringly missing from their list, Arturia. That means there's no official integration for those controllers, and you'll have to manually set up MIDI mappings if you want to use them. Hopefully that changes in the future. But here's my first trick. You can actually manually map your unofficial controller to the right CCs to make this integration work. For the Artoria Mini Lab 3, for example, I just created an NKS template using the Artoria software and mapped the pads and knobs to the right CCs. You'll find the right CC numbers on the controller manager page in Complete Control. And voila, I can now use my Mini Lab with Complete Control. Changing presets, controlling plugins. There's also a learn function here so that you can map your own keyboard yourself. Now, for officially supported keyboards, you'll get up to four control features inside Complete Control. First, control knobs, of course. This lets you adjust eight plugin parameters mapped automatically as soon as you load a preset. Next is the select plugin preset. There you go. Then the select plugin slot. This lets you jump between different instruments or effect slots inside complete control. And last is the select parameter page. Some plugins have multiple pages of controls and this lets you toggle through them. Now here's a catch. Not every officially compatible keyboard gives you all four of these controls. Some keyboards only have a few features mapped while others have all four of them. For example, the Akai MPK Mini Play and the M Audio Oxygen Pro Mini have control knobs, but they don't support preset selection, plugin slot switching, or parameter page selection. Now, if you can figure out how to map more controls like I showed you with the Mini Lab, you might get more out of one of those keyboards. But of course, keyboards like the Akai MPK Mini Mark III and Novation Launch Key Mini give you all four functions by default, making these some of the best choices if you want full hands-on control. I honestly think that the preset selection is one of the best features. So if you're in the market for a compatible controller, choose one with that feature. Or I guess buy a native instruments keyboard if you want full features. And speaking of that, what do you get extra on Native Instruments keyboards? I mean, since we now have this integration, are you missing something that Native Instruments keyboards have? Yes, you are. The biggest difference, you can't browse and select new instruments from your keyboard. With a Native Instruments control keyboard, you can scroll through your entire library and load any instrument without touching your mouse. But with a third-party keyboard, you can only switch between presets of the currently loaded instrument. Well, I've got a hack for that as well. Keep watching. Also, third-party keyboards don't get full contact integration. With a Native Instruments keyboard, you get automatic parameter mapping for contact instruments. And they have this extra physical control knob that makes navigation really easy. All right, how about another hack? For this new integration. I showed you that you can cycle through presets of a specific instrument. That's nice, but you can't really change the instrument, right? Well, not exactly. If you want to cycle through multiple instruments in complete control, search for a specific type of sound first and then use the preset cycle buttons. So I searched for lo-fi piano. Now it's giving me all the presets for lo-fi piano and letting me cycle through multiple types of instruments. So let's say you want a bass sound only from output instruments. You can filter and then start cycling through multiple output instruments. Okay, I mentioned some free stuff earlier in the video, but before we get to that, are you thinking about putting your music out there? Well, DistroKid is a simple and fast way to get your music onto Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Pandora, pretty much everywhere. And DistroKid collects earnings for you when anyone plays or purchases your music. It's simple to use and includes tools to help you build your audience. I've created two videos on DistroKid that will probably answer any questions you have. You can watch them here, and if you're ready to sign up, use the link below to get 7% off your first year of membership. All right, so how about those freebies? Well, Akai and Native Instruments have teamed up to give away exclusive free bundles of Native Instruments Complete 15 Select. You can choose from three editions. The Beats edition includes synths and sounds for 
were genres like pop, hip hop, and R&B. The band edition includes sampled guitars, keys, basses, drums, and synths. The electronic edition includes synths and sounds designed for genres like techno, trance, and house. To get one of these bundles, register your Akai MPK controller and you'll get a voucher to get a complete 15 bundle. Great deal for sure. And yes, you'll get it free whether you're buying a new MPK controller or you already have one. Make sure you check the website. I'll link below for details on which keyboards give you the freebies. Oh, and for those of you who don't have an Akai keyboard, you can get something free as well. Native Instruments has a free software package called Complete Start. You can download that no matter what keyboards you have and you'll get a bunch of sounds and you can play around with the complete control integration as well. That's it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you found this video useful. If you're in the market for a new gear for your studio, you'll love my studio buyer's guide. Tons of info on the best gear for your studio, and you can sign up for it in the description below. Keep making the music you love, and I'll see you soon.